Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to episode number three of FIFA 19 Career Mode. And today we have the preseason tournament final against Ostersunds, the Swedish team, come to face us today in the final. It's um a team as you might expect. We'll, we'll, we'll see it soon, but we're heading into the game now. It's the final. Can we pick up our first piece of silverware of the series, I guess? But it is just the European Continental Shield, so it's not the biggest trophy, but we'd still like to get it, get us some more prize money as well. There is the trophy, not quite a shield, more, more a cup, I'd say. But anyway... Here we go. A Festion is the player to watch. He scored two goals in the last match, and what a great uh, and of great they were both of very great importance, getting us that two-two draw and then us winning on penalties. But here is the lineup. It's I th I'm not sure if it's unchanged or not. I can't quite remember. A Festion may have come on as a, as a sub in the last game, and he's starting today. But anyway, here is the Ostersunds team. Got a number 99 on the pitch in Islamovic. And they're playing 4-4-2 four, four, today. Some, uh, someone called Edwards. That's not a very Swedish name. That's bloody American English. Something like that. But anyway, let's kick off. Um, let's see if we can pick up the victory in the preseason tournament final. But here come Ostersund's techie through to hop cut to Fritzen, and Fritzen's shot has found the back of the net, and Galon probably should have done better with that, you would think, he's let that in, it's a bit of a floating effort, so we have a look here, he receives the ball and he hits it, and actually, that is a very, very well placed shot, I mean, it looks like he's just hit it, but he's got the perfect amount of curve on that, not um, too much, not too little, it's just perfect. But And now they're coming forward again. It's 1-0, could well have been 2-0 there if it wasn't intercepted. And now we're going to look to bring the ball upfield. Pinot touches that with his chest over that dude's head. Now here's Avunu. So we look to come forward, a festion. And there's two men out on the overlap here. One is Ziani. Ziani still going forward. He turns inside. Ziani into the box. He's shot though is blocked and goes behind for a corner if we have a look at this it was might have been a decent shot but it's well blocked can we get something from the corner though in it goes towards Letalic it's headed away though Cambon is going to get there first he brings it under control to a Festion Deprino has got a bit of space he gets it out from under his feet but he fires it straight at the goalkeeper and now, we're coming forward again. Avunu finding Monfrey. And he goes to a Deprino, and Perrin is in here. He gets played in. He gets away from that sliding challenge. Can he find a good cross? He cuts it back. Letalic pops that in the, bo the back of the net. It's 1-1. And 35 or so minutes in, we have equalised. It's Letalic who gets the goal. Wasn't the greatest of goals, but Perrin does well. He just about kept control of the ball after that sliding challenge. Then he cuts inside, cuts it back, and Letalic, he just smacks it. And it's gone away from the keeper, who cannot keep it out. Looks to be a bit... Got a bit of a fright there by the power behind it. But that is very good. We're back on level terms. Can we now go and get ourselves a winner? Letalic's third goal in the European Continental Shield so far in this tournament let's see if he can get any more but yeah 1-1 one, one now can we get a victory can we get the win and we might get one here I know it's cleared but Pinot is underneath that to a Festion now here's Deprino can he work a bit of space he cuts back to a Vunu into a Festion a Festion shoots but Cater is well in behind that and there's not long left to go in this half Berkvist to Widgren, here is Teki inside to Fritzen, their goal scorer. He goes out to Flores. Is there one last opportunity for them here? There's a free kick that's been given. 
Not sure that was a free kick though. Edwards is going to take. He puts it in there. It's headed on. It's volleyed and it's hit the post. And that would have very much changed the halftime talk. I would expect. Goodness me. That was almost a pinpoint volley, volleyed finish from the Ostersunds player. But thankfully for us, it hit the post and went out. And that means the score is 1-1 at halftime. And we're still in level terms. But yeah, it's been quite a balanced game, as you can see from that. Could even have said that we were the stronger side. However, they probably had the two... Actually, their first chance was very... It was just a very good shot. It wasn't much of a clear-cut chance or anything. So I guess they've pretty much had the same amount of decent chances as us. But here, they're coming down the wing. Aish turns well. Can he get a cross in here? No, Pinot makes a very good tackle. He keeps it in as well. Here's Perrin now. Goes back to Edgar, who makes a good tackle. Avunu now, charging forward. Early on in this second half, he goes to a festion. Perrin, Deprino, through for Pinot. Can he find someone? He puts it across, and it's hit in by Letalic. 2-1, his second goal of the game. And we have the lead with 39 minutes to play. It's Pinot who puts the, the ground cross in. And, I mean, that's a very powerful finish. The power pretty much came all from the cross. All he has to do is direct that. And he directed it right into the roof of the net. There's nothing much Kater could do about that. He's fallen over onto his defender. But now we have a lead in the second half. Can we hold on to it? It's 2-1. Letalic with both goals today. And here we're coming forward again. Letalic to Deprino. Trying to work a bit of space. Goes back to Avunu who gives the ball back to him. He slides it in. Letalic turns nicely, shoots nicely, but it's well saved by Kader this time. Couldn't quite bag his hat-trick there. We'll have a look on the replay. It's a nice little drag back, and the shot on the turn is all right, but it doesn't find the back of the net. The corner now comes in. It's towards a festion, and the festion has headed it in to the bottom corner. It's 3-1, and we have the lead. And it is, we, we already had the lead. We now have a two-goal lead, a stronger lead, a Festion jumping way higher than them two for, for Ostersons. And it's a great header. He gets plenty of power behind that. And there's nothing much that Cater could do about it. It finds the back of the net. It's 3-1. And you'd hope now with only, how much is that? 24 minutes to go that we'd have... Um, we'd have secured it, but now there's, it's, we're into stoppage time. The cross comes in, it's headed into the back of the net. It's 3-2, but Ostersons have barely any time to get themselves a equaliser. Monfrey misses the header. It's a good turn and cross from their winger. And it's a good header as well. Two good headers today. Um, but yeah, if we have a look at this, he beats Cambon in the air. It's a good header. It's drifting away from Galon all the time. And it finds the back of the net. Thankfully, there's not much time left. But that could have been quite bad if we th if we threw that away. If Festion didn't get his goal, or, and we, or if we were only leading by one. But let's hope they don't score in the remaining few seconds. But they won't because the ref has blown for full time there. Thankfully, and that is full time. We've won the preseason tournament. The European Continental Shield is ours. Two for, two goals from Letalic and one from Ephestion, who have probably been our two best players this preseason tournament. Ziani is up there too with his contribution against... Um, who did he play really well against? Dundalk, but that was in a losing cause. But anyway, he, if, if we didn't win... I mean, if we didn't get those two goals back, we wouldn't have finished top of the group. But anyway, here is Ziani coming back, coming up onto the stage. He gets the um, the European Continental Shield trophy, which is not a shield, but in fact a cup, and he lifts it above his head, and we have done it. The streamers 
and the confetti are going off everywhere. And what a great performance this is. There's smoke machines as well. Uh, fans in the stands are ecstatic. As are the players. This is great performance. I mean, we've not defended well this this tournament, but we have had a very strong attack, mainly led by Letalic and Ephestion, who scored most of the goals. But here's the team, including the subs out there. Number eight doesn't seem to want to get into much of the action out the back there. But anyway, we win. Confirmation of it there. Orleans, all all Orleon. Winners against Oster Sons. Now, I can't quite remember fully, but wasn't Oster Sons the team that Arsenal played in the Europa League and lost to, but they still went through an aggregate? I'm not, I'm not quite sure that. Was it last year? I think it might have been last year. But as you see there, we've got plenty of money. We're looking good on reaching that 3 million by the end of the season mark. And also we see Ben Kaid has been sold to Wellington as well. We'll see what the Phoenix can do with their new man. But now we're heading into the first game of the league season. It's against RC, uh, probably Racing Club, Lawns. And yes, it's at home, our first game at the Stade de la Source today. Let's see how we do. Hopefully, we can pick up the, uh, the three points in the first game of the season. League 2, here we go, at home. But however, Lons are a very decent side, I believe. Probably one of the better sides in the league, and we're one of the lesser sides in the league, I do believe. But here is our lineup. Only five subs allowed. Um, in League 2, unfortunately, but um, as you might expect, it's the exact same lineup that just won the preseason tournament. Festion keeping his place, Letalic, two of our best performers, best performers of the preseason, and as they're shaking hands there, we're getting ready for our first match of the season. This is going to be a tough game. Yes, it is Racing Club, but they've got... Um, few kind of names that you recognise. Lekka, like, that name is somewhere in my memory. Gillet is like the Gillet gang, being well-rounded. Um, Silver card, if you've not heard that joke. It's like the Gillet gang, which is 80-plus stats on all your ultimate team um, face, face card stats. Anyway, Gillet was like almost that as a silver, but anyway, that's what that is so he's a definitely a well-rounded player and let's see what the um what lens can do today and what we can do today more importantly but here they come it's crossed in and that is a poor header from ambrose their number nine and marzu put in a good cross but unfortunately for lens the header was poor and we escape there and now that but however they are coming forward again here is gillet takes it around a festion He's got a bit of space, he plays it into Bellegarde, and Ambrose is in, and he fires that in. There's not much Gallon could do about that. And Ambrose has scored. They've got, they're sponsored by McDonald's. Who would have thought? But anyway, I do find it odd. My local football league that I play in is sponsored by McDonald's. And I just find it odd why McDonald's would sponsor a sporting I mean, it's not exactly a great sportsman's diet, is it? But anyway, we're coming forward here. Can we pick up a goal? A Festion takes it away from that dude, but now he's forced backwards. Finding a Vunu. Can we get an equaliser? Letalic into Ziani. His shot is on. It's hit the post and falls straight back to Lecker. What are the chances? Goodness me. That was quite similar to the chance he put away against Notts County. I do believe... No, not Notts County. Um, Dundalk where he received the ball like that and curled it in. This time, though, he hit the post, but here comes Letalic. Deprino is in, and somehow he's missed it. I'm not quite sure how, but Ephestion is still going. Tries to play it back to Deprino, but it's taken away. And now we're coming very close to the end of the first half. It's hit upfield. I think that was Pino who, head that, who headed that away. Gillett knocks it down, but there is half time. Not the most of action-packed first halves, and we are 1-0 down at the break. However... Um, Ziani hit the post, almost got us an equaliser, and then Deprino somehow didn't score that from about three 
um, meters away from the goal line. But anyway, 1-0 at the break. Can we come back in the second half and get ourselves at least a draw? Lens a pretty good side. I would definitely take a draw, to be honest. But now they're coming forward. Gillett playing in bench, bench Arky. And he's up against Monfrey. He gets the cross in. It's floating and it's headed in. And unfortunately, we've now gone 2-0 down. It's Gillett. And it's going to take something to come back from this. However, we did do it against Notts County. So it's not beyond us. But Lens probably have a better defense. Probably more fit, more focused. And it's a good header from Gillett who we did talk about before the game. He's also quite tall, which makes him like a very good player. I don't know where his long hair went. I remember he used to have long hair. But now we're coming forward. Monfrey, can we get a goal back? It's deflecting around. Afeshin wins the header. Back to Avunu. Out to Pinot. Pinot coming forward. He goes to Perrin. Perrin gets the cross in. It's not a bad cross, and it's headed in. Letalic, I think it is. He gets the ball. Yes, that is Letalic, who's equalised... 2-1, it's Pinot who finds um, Perrin, who does nicely there. I don't think the, that their defender knows he's right-footed because he turns back nicely to get the cross in with his stronger foot. And Letalic beats the number five in the air, who really misjudged it and then didn't jump. He mustn't have thought Letalic was there because he's nicely put that into the bottom... Uh, it's not really the bottom corner, it's in the side of the net. It's a good header nonetheless, and we're right back in the game. Can we come back like we did against Notts County? And here we've got the ball coming forward. Avunu plays in Ziani. What a ball that is. Ziani, can he find someone in the middle? It's crossed in. It's headed wide. But it appears as though the referee has given a penalty. And if we have a look at the replay, you'll see that Gillett... Took out Ziani with a sliding challenge. He's got the cross in already. Don't know. It's a fair enough penalty. He has taken him out. Ambrose is going off their goal scorer. Or one of their goal scorers. But now we have a penalty. And this is a chance to make it to all. And get back on level terms. Letalic is going to take it. Can he find the back of the net? Up he steps. He looks to find the bottom corner. It's saved onto the post. Then he hits the post with the rebound. How did he not score that? It's still alive though. Letalic. Into Deprino, he's dispossessed, but only for about a second. And we're coming forward again. Monfrey out on the wing. Can he put in a good cross towards Perrin? It's headed away. Can we recover the ball? The header goes down to Ziani of all people. Then he slide tackles it into the back of Deprino, but he recovers it. That's a nice turn. He finds a festion into a Vunu, but it's cleared. And there's not long left. And here come Lons now. And Kie gets the wrong side of Edgar. He cuts it back. Cambon kicks it but only into the path of K, and it was fortunate that he has put that well wide, maybe because it was on his left foot, but it's still a poor miss, and they're coming forward again here. Marzu into K, who hits it on his right this time, and that was a much better effort, but thankfully, Galon was equal to it. There's just 12 minutes left now. Not long for us. We're bringing on another striker, going ultra-attacking. In comes the cross, well-headed away by Loppy, I think that was. It's going to come out to Deverne, inside to Bellegarde, Mezloub, he's dispossessed, but it, they win it back. Can Afeshin win it again? No, he can't. Edgar does well. Now it's up with Loppy. Can we break? Afeshin plays in Ziani, who's got the wrong, well, the right side for us of Hydara. Cuts it back. Letalic, it's saved onto the crossbar. Loppy, surely he's hit. Tell. And then the next shot was ridiculously well saved by Lecker, but the ref has given offside. Now, I, I just, I don't, I see how it is offside, but I don't see how that is fair to be called offside because he's actually blocked our shot from going in. So it's not like he's been um, obstructing or, uh, like, scoring for their team as... Ziani poorly misses that volley after Pinot almost got himself another assist, but there's not long left now. And a Festion is coming forward. Can we find that last minute winner? Letalic goes for the switch, but it deflects off their man. And now with less than a minute left, it looks like it's going to be it as Marzu is played in. 
Cambon's coming across. He's beaten. Marzu inside. Marzu shoots. He misses. But it's full time. And unfortunately, we lose 2-1 to Lons. And what a waste of chances we had. I think we hit the woodwork at least three times. Possibly four. We missed that penalty. We missed the rebound of that penalty. The loppy effort, which hit Tell, was ridiculous and should have gone in. Um, Letalic's effort before that, what a save that was by Lekka. And then Ziani hitting the post in the first half. And Deprino kicking that shot straight at the defender, the only man between him and the goal. But anyway, it's no points for us in our first game. In a game we could have easily won, to be fair. But now we've got a transfer offer for Sissoko. And he's not been too good, seeing his first team place go to Perrin to start this season off, who has played quite well at the beginning of this season. And it looks like we're going to see if we can get him out and get some money. That will leave us with a million extra to spend um, over, over our um, amount that we need to have, our 3 million amount, 3 million target. But unfortunately... Um, Blackburn don't want to offer any more for than four hundred and ten grand for Sissoko, but we offer we um no we don't we ask for a sell on clause. Ten percent, although he is thirty one, so he probably won't be sold, if that for a big amount. But you never know, maybe he'll have a great season in Blackburn and get like a million pound, a million pound, yeah, it will be in England, a million pound move. But yeah, um, here we have our first youth scout report, but unfortunately it's quite poor. Thomas Bar Barre and Arthur Perot were both not very exciting, and I mean, we'll have to wait for the next one for that for the next month but anyway that'll be it for today's episode i hope you have enjoyed if you did please do drop a like and subscribe and i'll see you next time goodbye